Hello, it's Gabriel, and welcome back, everyone, to an episode of Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. You're all probably wondering why I'm in space at the moment. Well, after completing the Visceron Comet, I entered my ship and everything, and I uh, was trying to start off this episode and everything. Well, after playing Visceron and everything, I tried to start off this episode. Well, here's the big deal. I kind of... Well, my recording messed up, and I had to restart, but I couldn't, uh, but whenever I got back onto the game and everything, it made it so I'm back here, where I start off with the video and everything. So, please don't mind that, it really wasn't anything, uh, there really wasn't anything to that, so that was just me doing the menus and stuff. Hey, more exciting intro! But yeah, this is actually a pretty interesting space segment. Because, well, you're kind of, What the heck was that? It, what? Is this ship not programmed to actually... Is this program... Well, th that's actually something we're gonna say, maybe. Oh my gosh, that was interesting. Not really, it's just that that was something I didn't expect to happen. Also, yeah, the enemies are trying to step up their game and everything, because... Well, the pirates are mean... Stuff's happening. And also, we're now going to blow up their IC outpost. Sorry if I'm commentating over their dialogue. I keep saying that all the time, I think. Uh, it's be if you wonder why I commentate over their dialogue, it's because I don't know when it's coming in. So, yeah. Yeah, sorry for that little burp. Okay, so now we have to go through these mines. It's not really uh, all that difficult. Okay, on a different note than this level... Uh, which, it's a fun level, nonetheless, but still. Uh, something I was wanting to talk about. Uh, I just found out that this game is probably even better than Ratchet & Clank Up Your Arsenal. That's probably an unpopular uh, opinion, but... Uh, whenever I bought that game, it was completely blind and everything. I had no... Well, semi-blind. I saw a review of the game. Uh, and... Yeah, whenever I got that game, I was like, Okay, this game's supposed to be pretty good, right? And it's Ratchet & Clank. It's still good, it's still a good Ratchet & Clank game, but um, one of the weaker ones in the series. Not, not one of the best, but in my opinion it's one of the weaker ones. Mainly because some of the stuff in that game can be... Uh, some of the level design is mean. In my opinion it has the worst arena in the series. <laughs> uh, don't hate me, but Annihilation Nation isn't that great of an arena. Because it j there's so many times whenever it messes you up. Granted, it's either the arena from this one or um, up your arsenal are the worst. This one is just, it's just in this game, it's just there. Kind of, well, the arena's just kind of. Oh, by the way, blowing it up. <laughs> Michael Bay, eat your heart out. <laughs> uh, gosh dang it. Yeah, it kind of blew up that outpost. It, it, the whole plant's not gone, though. Well, the whole... That, that would be some crud if one little, um, ship ended up blowing up a whole planet. Gosh dang. But yeah, in the end, I actually didn't... I'm not finished with Up Your Arsenal, but I already have a firm opinion on it already. Uh, first of all, the name is amazing. But I've already got a firm opinion on it. And whenever I got to a certain point, I was like, okay, I'm going to put the game down and just play something else. Turned on Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction, different save file and everything. And I had a lot more fun with it. I didn't get all the things. Dang it, that's supposed to be the last one. Dang it, I messed up and didn't get them all. Crud, I did that. No way, I think I did, but I already have the gold bolt. I think I did that already, but got the gold bolt. Because, um, I already did that, technically. So, yeah. So far, this is going pretty well. And... Uh, don't know what's supposed to happen here, just another ship, and we're, we're actually going to attempt to get into the black hole! Yeah! You probably heard, heard that from Ratchet, I can't hear anything at the moment from the game. Um, but yeah, Ratchet probably just said, Hey Clank, let's enter the- Uh, let's go into the black hole! Like, more like, I, wait, I think he's a- We have our escape route! <laughs> ah, gosh dang it. 
But yeah, I turned on Tools of Destruction and everything, and I had so much more fun with it. I don't know why. It's because maybe the game's a lot more fair? That's a complaint that I have with Upper Arsenal. Uh, the environments... Uh, granted, it's a PS2 game, but... The environments aren't that interesting in some cases. I know it's a PS2 game, but... Meh. <laughs> yeah. And also... Um, what else about it that I don't like? Uh, the level design is un it can be unfair at times. Well, with this game, it's a heck of a lot more fair. And in, um, Up Your Arsenal, it's a bit more of a- Oh yeah! Suddenly, giant robot here to kill us! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Level design in this game is a lot more fair. Which I like. It's just that there are so many times in Up Your Arsenal where I can unfairly die. I'm just like, Ugh. But in this game, if I die, half the time it's my fault. Well, the majority of the- well. Uh, 90% of the time, it's my fault. Or like, 15% of the time. Well, no, wait. Um, 85% of the time, it's my fault. Like, 15% of uh, the time, it's not my fault. Like, if sometimes Ratchet's controls are a bit janky. It's because he has, like, one extra move that can really mess up your platforming. In this game, that kind of can cancel out the double jump at times. Oh, crud. Sorry, we're just, uh, crud. Oh, yeah, this boss... Yeah, it's a bit interesting. Also, I just realized these segments kind of remind. Uh, this boss kind of reminds me of the final boss in Kirby Plan Robobot. In that game, oh boy, that game is amazing. That's a game. Uh, yeah. Except you have like the. It doesn't have missiles with you and everything. But yeah, back on the topic of that. Uh, it's a case well, with Retro and Clank. Um, up your arsenal, which has the best name for a video game, I swear. Oh crud! Oh Jesus, is actually gonna get close. Boy, oh boy. Okay, I'm actually gonna have to focus now. Okay, dodge. For, for all that is good, Ratchet, dodge. Wait, we got him. We got him. Oh, thank goodness, that was way too close for comfort. Okay, I have no idea what it fired itself out at me, but I'm fine! <laughs> oh, thank goodness. That was annoying. Surprised that we did not get destroyed. I guess Insomniac supports that black holes just teleport you to places, I guess. That's just a possibility. That's a possibility. And here we are at Planet Decidu. I don't know how to pronounce it, really. I don't think there's, like, any dialogue or something. It's just that we're kind of here. Oh, wait, there is. The pirates are attacking Kirchu City. Ratchet, we must get to the Dimensionator before Captain Slag does. All right then, so we have our objective. But first, ladies and gentlemen, we're buying the negotiator. Now this gun, oh this gun, it's so good. It's not my favorite um rocket launcher in the series. That honor goes to the Arbiter because um, other rocket launchers aren't the greatest. But the Arbiter is my favorite. Purely out of nostalgia, and it can pack a punch. But the negotiator is very good. I forgot to have these equipped. <laughs> okay, so what are we going to use to get rid of these guys? Uh, I guess Shard Reaper. Okay, on my other file, like, my weapons are really... Uh, like, I'm, like, level 5 and stuff. It's insane, but... Hey, it feels good that I'm able to use my other weapons. You know what? How's the pyro Pyrocitor doing? Uh, Pyro Blaster. I'm sorry, I keep calling it by its... Um, upgraded form, level 5 name. Now we're gonna use this thing, cause... Holy crud, this thing becomes a boss killer! And is incredibly useful for the late game. Uh, Grant, uh, yeah, are we in the late game? I think we are. This game, I realized, we're almost finished. With it. And yes! <laughs> this is the thing that those two pirates were trying to attack, and we kinda just... Oh, help me. <laughs> 
Okay, negotiator, do your thing. Uh, guys, guys, we can talk this out. Yeah, we can talk this out. Uh, Obi Wan's negotiations in a nutshell. Yeah. Okay. See, see, this thing just killed those guys like it was nothing. We could have actually gotten it. I, I don't know if we could have gotten it last episode or not. Nah, we didn't get enough bolts in the end. But yeah, this thing goes through things. Uh, these guys are shields, making it incredibly useful. Because in this game, shielded enemies are kind of, a, kind of a nuisance. Also, if you all saw, there was another weapon that we could have gotten. Uh, don't. <laughs> That is one of the worst weapons in the Ratchet and Clank franchise, in my well, in the Ratchet and Clank series, in my opinion. It's so bad. The Razor Claws, they're so low range. It's they stink. They just constantly leave you open. Don't get them. <laughs> I might get them to show them off, but well, they have an interesting gimmick. But it's just that they're so short range and it's hard to use it. So it's a pain to level up. And just leaves you open for everything. Also, yeah, these guys... <laughs> oh, crud, we can't use the negotiator anymore. Alright then, Pyrocitor. Not Pyrocitor, Pyroblaster. I'm sorry, I love this. I, I, I mean, I love this weapon, though. It's easily a contender for best flamethrower in the series. And, oh, no... Just get rid of this turret guy, get rid of this turret guy. Thank you, game. Granted, I could have used a Groovatron, but I just kind of wanted to stealth my way through that. Also, get some more rare titanium, because why not? Also, we got a new gadget, the Transmorpher. Uh, there's always the morphing thing in Ratchet & Clank games. Not a big fan of them in any Ratchet & Clank game, really, because there's such better things. Like, there's the morphing mod in... Uh, in Retro Deadlocked, I never use that because half the time I just have the stuff I feel like goes well with the weapons. And yeah, we're gonna get on this transport everything. And oh, help me, Alpha Disruptor, where are you? I need my, I need my best weapon. Cause this thing, ah, oh, the Alpha Disruptor. I love the Alpha Disruptor. Ah. <laughs> uh, such a good weapon. What? It's a very good weapon in the end. So also, ah, uh, why is uh, tornado launcher flipping stinks? They they kind of fixed the the idea with cracking time, and I do not like it when it freezes. It's annoying when that freezes. Am I right? I probably am. Don't know why I'm making that sound of my noise. <laughs> okay. So now here comes the most one of the most annoying enemies in the game. Yeah, the, the Kurchu with their razor. Or they're trying to be Sonic but failing. <laughs> they're being that cheap imitation of Sonic. Like his name is Metal, not not Metal. Um, Silver Sonic, I believe. I don't know. I've never played the, like the classic games or anything. I think his name was Silver Sonic. They're trying to be that cheap imitation. Ah. <laughs> uh. The Alpha Disruptor is going to be your best friend against these heavy enemies. Because of how much damage it does. And oh. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Pyrocitor front and center. Ah, oh, this thing is so good. But not so good against these things. Ow. So yeah, here's the thing. Apparently both the pirates and the Kurchu hate Ratchet. So they will both attack you. Yeah, I recommend going for the pirates first, but I just kind of want to get rid of some of the annoying Kurchu. Uh, actually, eh, get rid of the pirates first. Focus on the Kurchu later. There we go. Alpha Disruptor makes quick work of these things. Oh, hey, hey yes, it leveled up. Perfect. Gonna need the ammo refill and extra firepower. Yeah, it's a great boss killer. <laughs> this thing is such a good boss killer. It's a contender for best weapon in the game, but this not counting the Rhino. I actually never got the Rhino in this game. I've seen it in action, though, uh, via YouTube videos and stuff, and it looks pretty good. But pretty much this level is a kind of bit generic in some cases. Not really. It's fun. The thing is, the thing with the levels in this game, 
I'm not counting the Crayley Comet. They're all fun. And that's what I love about this game. The thing is with uh, Up Your Arsenal and some other... Ah, that's like the only one that comes to mind. The levels aren't fun. Well, some of them aren't that fun. And ow. It's because, well, if they... What the heck? This game gets trippier every day! <laughs> uh, early PS3 title. I mean, wait, we're almost finished. Holy crud. Okay. We're almost finished with this planet. That was fast. I guess it's because I had played it before. Alright then. We're never getting the Razor Claws, by the way. Also, oh, Mega, Mega Leech Bomb, your best friend. I am not kidding when I ever say it. Get the Mega Leech Bomb. It is such a good weapon. The Leech Bombs, in general, are kind of broken <laughs> because they restore, they can restore so much HP. Oh, wait, the Plasma Beasts are not level 5 yet? Jeez. Keep your eyes peeled. And now we are grinding! Hooray! Like this? Oh wait, that... I swear, the... Some one of the exact same scenario happened earlier on in the game. It might be a little bit... Eh, well, similar grinding sequence, I guess. You know, grinding on rails, avoiding the guy's attacks. And ow. Failing horribly. <laughs> failing terror. I also real... I guess my weapon's got more EXP on my other file because I because of the stupid Crayley comment I think it constantly killed me <laughs> oh, that is one of the worst levels in the franchise up there with I can't remember the name of the planet from up your arsenal but it was heavily gravity boots based but the gravity boots can hurt your eyes now it flashes but how they it hurts the camera angle Makes one of the side missions in the game terrible. How are these rails even being held up, though? How the heck are they being held up? Oh, wait, I see it now. I see them. I see how they're being held up. Never mind about that. I taking away that previous seven. Well. Now on to the actual boss fight. It starts off a little bit weird. You're on top. Oh, give me a sec. Corruption, my bad. <laughs> I had to quickly take care of something. But yeah, this boss, it can be, it can either uh, straight up kill you or you can have a good time against it. Yeah, this is a weird boss in some cases. Well, granted, if he does get some good hits, he can also one shot you at times, and I forgot the buzz plates are not fully upgraded yet. Oh, crud. Look at that damage output. I don't know if that was just from the grinding section or not. Oh. Yeah, yeah, carry it off. You see, ladies and gentlemen, this is why you bring the Mega Leech Bomb! It missed. Oh, God. No, it didn't, it didn't. We're fine. No, we're not fine yet. Switch phases already! This is the worst phase! You can barely dodge! And it messes up your camera angle! No, oh, forget it. <laughs> Forget we're getting down on the ground because it makes things a lot easier. Forget fighting him in the up there. This is the best way to fight him. Sure, he brings down some enemies for you to fight, but I don't really care. This is the better way to fight him. Also, leech bombs, best friend during bosses. Never forget it. Also, get ready. Yep, I love this thing. <laughs> Ring. <laughs> I love this weapon. Okay, so now we're gonna have to try and... Yeah. Okay, good. These can interrupt them from getting... Okay, this thing can interrupt them from getting into that. Perfect. Dodge, ratchet, dodge! <laughs> nope. Boy, I hate these things so much. Are they contender for worst enemy in the Ratchet Clank series? Kind of. But this boss is pretty... <laughs> I just realized where he shoots them from. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use the Alpha Disruptor. Because that's, as I said before, our best bet on... Well, look at all how much damage it did. It's insane. Ow, crud. No. No, back. Back, I am running low. I am alive. Okay. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool, Gabe. It's cool. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, Gabe says. It's fine, I say. Well, you know what, Gabe? It's not fine. <laughs> Granted that I love ring getting these guys ringed out. Well, getting them out of the ring. Can Fuzzler Gas do... Why is it so useless? Forget it. I didn't want to have to do this. I guess I'm gonna have to. Let's dance. <sighs> Thank you, Groovatron. You save lives. <sighs> and Nano Swarmers, just help, please. Yes. Uh, sorry about that, everybody. I did not mean to sneeze. Ah, <laughs> oh, crud. Did not mean to sneeze. I just came. I don't know where. This boss is really using up all my weapons. Gosh dang. You guys see the Pyrocer can do ooh. Pyrocer can you actually <laughs> did it! Try and take it, Grog Breath. You wouldn't begrudge an old pirate his booty, would you? That'd make old Pete here a bit twitchy with the blade. Aye, Captain. Say the word, and it's the locker for our friend. Try to follow us, and I'll gut ye bow to stern. Gentlemen. I just received a transmission. Well, cried. <laughs> that can only describe that. Just, well, cried. We lost the Dimensionator. I just realized that boss fight could have been different. <laughs> oh, that was a whole gimmick for the boss as well. I see. To be honest, I prefer fighting him on the ground than in the air. It, it, than, like, upside down. It's weird. But, uh, that's almost it for the episode, everybody. Just gonna quickly, uh, not buy the Razor Claws. I'm saving up money. Uh, you'll see why. Uh, I guess we're finished. So, everybody, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Ratchet & Clank Future Tools of Destruction. In the next episode, we are going to be going and following the pirates. <laughs> Do exactly the opposite of what Slag said. We're following him. So, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Bye.